Here's an optimization problem for you. What points on the ellipse 9x squared plus y squared equals 9 are farthest from the point 1, 0? Okay, try it on your own, or you can just watch me solve it. So let's start by writing our ellipse in standard form, so dividing by 9. So we have x squared plus y squared over 9 uh, is equal to 1. And so we know from when we learned about ellipse, ellipses that the largest value x could be is 1 and the smallest value x could be is negative 1. And similarly, the largest value y could be is 3 and the smallest it could be is negative 3. Right, so what this looks like is this oval here. Okay, we want to find the point on this oval. I guess this is negative 3 down here and positive 3 up here. We want to find the point on this oval that's furthest from the point 1, 0. So we want to maximize the distance function. d is equal to the square root of x minus 1 squared plus y squared. Right, the 1 comes from here, the y minus 0 comes from here. But the square root function is an increasing function. So to, max, to maximize the square root of something, you could just maximize the inside of it. So let's call that capital D is equal to x minus 1 squared plus y squared. And if you're watching this video, you probably haven't taken Calc 3 yet. So we don't know how to maximize a two, a two variable function. So we have to eliminate a variable. So we could eliminate y or y squared from here, right? We could solve for y squared and we get y squared is equal to 9 minus 9x squared. Okay, so our function d of x in one variable is x minus 1 squared plus 9 minus 9x squared. All right, we, and we want to find the absolute maximum value of this on the interval negative 1 to 1. Okay, so we need the derivative, d prime of x. This will give us our critical numbers. So 2x minus 1 times the derivative of the inside, which is 1, plus the derivative of 9, which is 0, minus 18x. And we want to find when this is 0 or undefined. Okay, cleaning this up, we get 2x minus 18. So minus 16x minus 2 equals 0, or x equals minus 1 eighth. Okay, so we want to evaluate our function at the critical numbers and the endpoints. d of negative 1, so that's our left endpoint, is negative 2 squared plus 9 minus 9 is equal to 4. Okay, so the point when x equals negative 1 is 4 away from the point 1, 0. Try the other endpoint. Evaluating at the other endpoint, we plug in 1, we get 0 squared plus 9 minus 9, which is 0. So the point with an x value of 1 is distant 0 away from the point 1, 0. That shouldn't surprise us. And then last, d of negative 1 eighth is when we plug that in, we get negative 9 eighths squared plus 9 minus 9 sixty fourths. which simplifies to 10.125. Okay, so we look for the largest value here, which is 10.125, right? Because we're trying to maximize the distance. So the function is maximized at x equals negative 1 eighth. So the question is, what is the y value when x equals negative 1 eighth? Well, we know y squared is equal to 9 minus 9 x squared. So we have y is equal to 9 minus 9, negative 1 eighth, squared. Okay, so we get y, or sorry, y squared is equal to that. So this gives us y squared 
is equal to, well, this is 576 over 64 minus 9 over 64, which is 567 over 64. Taking the square root, we get y is plus or minus the square root of 567 over 8. So what points are furthest from the point 1, 0? Or, yeah, 1, 0. It's the point negative 1 eighth comma square root of 567 over 8. And also the point negative 1 eighth negative square root of 567 over 8. So there's two points here. And on the graph, they'd be you know up here and down here. So you could see, I mean, just based on our pretty bad drawing, these points do appear to be pretty far away from the point one zero. So it passes the smell test at least. All right, well, that's an optimization problem. Good luck studying. Let me know if you have any thoughts in the comments. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.